what's up and welcome to this video in September I started writing a new engine it's a renderer it's a game it's whatever written from scratch in OpenGL and C++ and in November I started streaming it it's got lighting glass decals weapons blood ragdolls split screen lots of shit but the truth is my code base has descended into garbage so I'm gonna spend the next few weeks refactoring it and porting to Vulcan 2 because I need those rays so I figured now's a pretty good time to do a recap of everything I've implemented the last few months and also tell the story of where this came from because I didn't just start streaming at the beginning there was already something there so let's go I'd written many engines before or at least rewritten this one over and over and the problem I kept running into was that calculating indirect lighting was so fucking difficult and everything I read made no sense and everything I tried looked stupid and dumb and I hated it but I had this idea, what about use voxels, somehow to calculate the indirect lighting and that's what this began as a prototype of that idea now, it all began on the CPU because it's faster to write code there and test it and see output values, whatever, to the console. So I just raycasted from every voxel face to every light source to check visibility, and if it had visibility, I would accumulate the direct light. From there, I... what did I do? I cast rays back into a 3D texture, which basically was a propagation grid. I think that's the correct term. So what probably makes more sense is if I explain that backwards. Light leaves the light sources, hits the voxel faces, and then that bounces back into the 3D texture, and then I use that to light the fragments. That didn't actually work in the end because, I mean, it actually looked fucking good, but it didn't work when I tried to voxelize geometry because that meant it was stuck on the grid and that didn't work for shit like doors that have to swing and look good from any angle and have proper shadows that aren't just blocks. So I said, fuck voxels, why don't I try point cloud? So that's what I did. I raycasted from the light sources to the point cloud and the point cloud filled the grid and then I interpolated that over the fragments because the grid is a 3D texture and that fucking worked. And I was like, sick. Let's fucking go. Now what I should probably explain is what the fuck raycasting is. It's simply using math to determine line of sight between two points. And what are you checking line of sight against? Every triangle. And that's, yeah, you saw them before, now you see them again. So from there, I just started re-implementing shit from my last engine. Animation, guns, muscle flash, basically that shit. And then I started streaming. That's where we're at now. So I got split screen in because split screen rules. We all love that shit. Goldeneye fucking ruled and let's bring that back. So yeah, got that. Bunch of fucking around. Everything is, always is. But yes, got that done. Then character models. And I hate these character models. I'm just using them for now because good ones are expensive and I haven't found an alternative to make them myself free that look any good. Like I made these ones in some program called Character Creator. Anyway, next I did physics using PhysX. It's a library written by NVIDIA. They made your GPU. So I fucked around, got cubes working, read the docs from hell. But it's not about cubes. It's about, well, all the shit you can do with the physics library. Because the raycasting I was doing previously, like in the indirect lighting stuff, that's just against a simplified version of the scene, not every triangle and every model. But PhysX has implemented, I assume, some kind of bounding volume hierarchy. It's optimization for ray casts. Which, anyway, you can cast rays very quickly using their library. So I just fucking put every triangle of my world into their library. And now I can detect hits on anything. So I did bullet decals next stream, which you gotta have those. Then I did shell casings for the AK and the Glock. And that was confusing because there's lots of maps there. But I got there, thanks to anyone who was watching, there was about four or five people. But it was actually really cool back then because we were constantly just talking and solving these problems together. Now the chat is just mental and I have to ignore it basically. From there I went back and did what I call dynamic decals, which is simply bullet holes that move on objects like doors or whatever. I never had this before, but it occurred to me it's actually quite simple. You just gotta take the hit normal and the offset of the hit position relative to its parent and then just inverse that when you fucking render it. Anyway, got there. Then I did collision mesh, convex collision mesh, which is simply the smallest possible shape that includes all the internal points and it cannot have internal angles, kind of. And that meant I could do more complex shapes like this lamp bouncing around. It's made of three convex mesh. Three convex mesh. Hard to fucking say any of these words, but got it. In the next stream, I did the PhysX character controller. Now, a character controller is just a capsule that you use for your player. 
I didn't say this, but back in the split screen stream, the first one, I did do collision, but I was using like top down only, just a circle and line intersection tests. But you can't jump and you can't, I don't know what else you can't do, but I need 3D, so I used physics character controller. Same deal as the fucking first physics thing, the cubes, just non stop reading the docs that made no sense, and but eventually got there, which was awesome. Next, Christmas stream. Now the Christmas stream was a lot of fucking fun, and I call it the beginning, really. I made a playlist of Christmas beats, I got the Christmas lights, and made a Christmas bomb. Now I haven't said yet in this rant, but I've been speedrunning a lot of these tasks, well, all of them, since I made the bomb. It's like, alright, I'm gonna fucking do it, in one hour I'm gonna implement whatever this thing is. So, the Christmas task was Windows. And I went from 11pm Christmas Eve to 4am Christmas morning and then somehow made it to family lunch at 12. But no, it was fucking fun. I drank Jack Daniels, smoked a bunch and just grinded for 5 hours and got windows in. Which meant modifying the code I had to cut the doors out of the walls because you, in the editor you just plant a door or an, after Christmas planted the window and then that just automatically generated the wall mesh by just chopping it out. Then it was a matter of rendering the glass into an off-screen texture and blurring the pixels behind it and just doing the PBR, the physically based rendering algorithm onto a surface sort of thing and just plastering it on there. And yeah, I, I just, I was really proud of that stream. Like I, I just hit stop at the end and was like, fuck that was fun. Because I love programming and I love graphics and that whole thing is one of my most cherished pieces of art. For real. And then I sat there for two weeks like, fuck, how do I top that stream? But then I was like, what am I fucking talking about? Just get back to work. So I did. I got ammo counter in next, ammo pickups, like the Glock ammo box. And then I did glass decals, bullet holes in glass, like that was all one stream. And then the next stream I did emissive glow for light globes. That's pretty cool. What you do is you render the shape of the globe into an off-screen texture, and then you just blur that progressively four times down, 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 down and then add all those blurred things together and then just shit that image back on top of the one you already had. Bingo. Next stream I did a bunch of weapon shit. So I got the Glock slide working, and that's when you empty your last bullet, the slide comes back, it's part of the gun. Then it was about the time my animator had given me all these new animations for the AK, so I got the reloads in for that and all the weapon logic required to make that happen. And then weapon sway. You move around, the gun follows you, sort of. It's part of what's what games do, it looks cool. Now, in the next stream, I did a bunch of shit that I ended up not keeping. Uh, the muzzle flash, in yeah, I made it cast shadows. So basically, I rendered the shadow map from that position, like the player's center, or maybe I did the gun, I don't remember. But it looked like shit, and just, I don't need more light sources, that's what slows your fucking game down. So I just was like, fuck this, and didn't tell anyone, and deleted it. Then I added um, pickup for the AK, so just some more physics shit and some game logic stuff that was needed. Then I did glass projectiles, I thought that could look cool, bits of glass coming off. And I just used physics for that and it looked fucking dumb, so yeah, still leave that as well. Now the next stream was a big one, 8 hours. And earlier in this video, I'm pretty sure I said when I got the AK item working that it had physics, well, it didn't, that was a lie. I got that working in this stream, which was a nightmare. Physics is always a nightmare. But yeah, I got that working, and then also to make it so you could pick up the AK, you had to do a physics overlap test of the two shapes, the player capsule and the physics convex mesh, keep up. And then next I did the map editor lighting, because until this stream it was just shit lighting, no lighting. So I got that working, and that was, that was, that was pain. That, I remember that one being fucking shit. Anyway, got that. Then what I got next working was parallax corrected cube maps for the purpose of indirect specular highlights. Now what is a parallax corrected cube map? Well a cube map is simply a skybox, well kind of, uh, captured from some position. So you render the scene from six angles into your cube map, aka some kind of skybox like texture. Well let me backtrack. The night before this stream I implemented this like read a bunch of shit and got this working in a sandbox program so then I basically in this stream copied that logic into this into the main engine so I got that working it was hell everything is hell but yeah got that now the purpose of doing this is to sample that 3d texture the skybox of the world whatever to use for your specular reflection so I just stole the code from up in GL this is called image-based lighting 
and it looked okay but still like total shit so I was like I'm not even gonna finish this I'm just gonna fucking ray trace this in the future deal with this later now the next stream I implemented something called a gizmo. Now a gizmo is simply that thing you see in 3D modeling programs that lets you move, rotate and scale anything. Now the library I used, did I say this already? It was called IM3D. Now that was fucking hard because there's just no documentation, like they have their example but you've got to render this yourself which means you've got to uh, implement their shaders and send a bunch of shit to their thing and but I got that, and I'm fucking glad, because that's a breakthrough, because until this point, my editor was top-down only, and I need a 3D edit to better edit that, to be able to do anything real. You can't make a 3D map in top-down, that's just dumb. Now, the next stream was the shotgun edition. You might have noticed that until this point, there was only the knife, glock, and AK, but I had a shotgun model and animations, I just hadn't gotten around to doing it. Now, what's cool about this shotgun is that if you can fit more than two bullets into it, it there's a special animation that plays where the, the hands, the arms, of you put two bullets in there or one if you can only fit one or only have one so I got that working and the maze of logic to make that happen was confusing so it just took quite a long time now the next stream I realized I hadn't done shotgun shells so I got that in because I forgot and then I just tried to get compute skinning working for fucking ages that's sort of cool but let's change the song now before I explain this, I need to explain what a compute shader is. And before I explain that, I need to explain what a vertex and a fragment shader is. They're pretty fundamental, so... Now, when you render any triangle on the screen, two things need to happen. Two pieces of code need to run on the GPU. That is the vertex shader and the fragment shader. The vertex shader takes your vertices, you have them already on the CPU, and its job is to get those vertices from local 3D model space onto the 2D image that is your screen. And it does so by using some black magic shit called a projection matrix. Now you're not done yet. There is one more multiplication you must perform, and that is with the view matrix. Now it too is a 4x4 grid of numbers whose purpose is to get your vertex from one coordinate space to another. And simply put, now you have a camera. Moving on, now runs the fragment shader, a separate piece of code that runs per pixel on any triangle that made it that far. And all you want to do there is your lighting, so do that. Now what's different about a compute shader is that it exists separate from those two. It's just its own piece of code and you can do literally anything in a compute shader. What am I doing? That's right, skinning. Now how do I explain this? I'm gonna have to assume some basic knowledge of game land. Now, your model is made in T-Pose. That just, I'll just show a picture. Now when an animator animates a 3D model, they don't animate every vertex, that would be too expensive. So what they animate is a simplified representation of the human skeleton, like a stickman skeleton. Now I don't want to go into this now, because I was just fucking going on about projection matrices for way too long. But basically, skinning means to get your model from T-Pose into animated pose. And if you perform that in the compute shader, you can store that result to use later. But I didn't get there. I got pretty fucking close, like fucking 99% of the way, but I just could not figure out the math. Mm, it's on the list. Now the next two streams are cool. They were both eight hours and I was grinding to get this game play testable because my friend was down from Amsterdam. He used to live here in Tasmania where I'm from and we'd sunk hundreds of hours previously into my old engines. So I just fucking grinded. I did spawn points first, which is pretty simple. Just when you die, you start at a random point in the map somewhere that's predetermined. Then I did ragdolls. Fuck ragdolls. Instead of skinning off the skeleton, you skin off little physics shapes and the math is a minefield. Now I didn't get them, that stream or the next, I ended up just faking it with a death animation of Mixamo. Now I don't remember what else happened that stream because I didn't timestamp it, but basically I just got everything ready for the playtest the following night. Now this was fun. We raced to 500 kills but stopped at 300 because it was just too many. Uh, ben asked me questions so the whole thing was more organic. We played music with lyrics because I didn't have to talk the whole way through. And I refused to do any programming, I was burnt out. But I couldn't help myself, so we hacked in auto clock, auto shotgun, and some crazy acid lighting. But what was really sick was the chat was fascinated with Ben's tattoos. And I said, wouldn't it be sick if Guinea Sex Guy had your tattoos? And then no shit, within 20 fucking minutes, one of the chat members was on it and sent the texture over to Discord and bang there in the game. So that was sick. And I don't know, that's... Wait, there's been one more stream after this. In that stream I got blood working just ported it from my old engine and that was cool the decals for the floor and the 3d volumetric bat textures for the um in the air there when you shoot the 
shoot the guy. I don't know. I feel like I've covered basically everything so far. So if you watched them, thanks, thanks for being there. Thanks for contributing, donating, talking, picking up graphics for yourself. I know a lot of people did. It's super cool to see. Anyway, I got a lot of work to do. So I'm gonna get to it. Thanks for watching this clip.